What's up, guys? Welcome back to Big Yogi's Garage, the podcast. Today, I got Brian Burrell. I know him better as AB. Me and him used to play flag football together. What's How up, Brian? Doing? How y'all doing, doing man? man? Man, I'm excited. Man, I'm excited. Brian, Brian wrote a book. He got a clothing line. He's doing a lot of good stuff, man. He has a, a service business. Brian, man, tell me a little bit. Of, you got a book right here? Look. Man. Uh, tell me a little bit about you, fam. Man, uh... Yeah, uh, for the most part, uh, I wrote a book about business, marketing, yeah. and entrepreneurship. Uh-huh. Uh, for the most part, I just put something out there that I felt people could use. Yeah. People like myself, uh, pioneers such yeah. as yourself, starting yeah, yeah. to, you know, so just people uh, more so like myself that want to get started in business and want to uh, a change, want to uh, yeah. pursue ownership, yeah, working yeah. for themselves. So that's. Yeah. So you 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 basically you dream big. You don't like you don't like just to have you don't want to be just a person just goes and works at the factory mm. line and just puts in the rivet every day. Uh, I mean, I did that and I I know, I know, but I did it. I mean, but for the most part it's it's hard to it find somebody that's going to pay you your true worth. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah. so I know how much I'm worth. Yeah. And I'm really I'm Priceless. You can't put a number on it. It's, Absolutely. You're not worth $30 an hour. I'm not right? worth $30, $40, $50, $100. That's still playing myself a little yeah, short. Yeah. But that's in my own mind. Yeah, so, yeah of course. So, but you got to work your way. So eventually, you do have to work your way to huh. that. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, that, uh, that, uh, that saying, it costs to be the boss. Yeah. That's very true because we'd never know how much it costs. The people at the, the top 500, uh, Fortune 500 yeah. companies would never know what the owners. Yeah, put well, in yeah, what course. they did what, work did what they there's sacrificed. a lot of people just see the pretty stuff oh they own all that but they don't know the work like yep. the, the, the guy from uh amazon yeah jeff bezos he started that in his garage mm. so i mean he imagine how much work mm. yeah he's a billionaire he's the richest man in the world but mm. i'm sure he put in some work for that uh, yeah the dude, used, the dude used to look like an old man back in the day now he looks young mm. He's See, like, I, I never saw any pictures of him. Yeah, uh, yeah I never saw yeah, any pictures. I'll, yeah. I'll show you one of these days. Like, really? I, well, yeah, because the, the guy used to look old, and now he's like buff and like, uh, mm. like yeah, yeah. Mm, I so, didn't yeah. know that. I didn't so know that's, that, that, that That's what happens, man, you know. So tell me a little bit about, okay, how about the um, the clothing line? Tell me a little bit about that. You started that after you, the, like, you started that a little bit or what? Like, how's that going? Uh, okay, so, so before, when I started my business, yeah, yeah. The, I didn't make the clothes to sell. No. I just needed that to motivate. Yeah. I wanted to motivate myself. Yeah, yeah. So anytime I passed the mirror, I saw myself. It just whatever clothing I was gonna start, okay. it was gonna motivate me. Okay. And then and then because you use a pioneer, yeah. and then and then you draw that. That's I know what you mean. Bro. A friend actually, a friend <laughs> said it to me. He said you're the pioneer of this. He said you're the pioneer of of this semi pro stuff. Okay. He said you're gonna be the reason we all get into the NFL. Yeah. But years later, yeah. as I was thinking for a clothing clothing line, I'm like. Pioneer. Pioneer. And I'm yeah. like, my name, why not use Y? Switch yeah. it up. Go with the Y. My name is Brian with yeah. the Y. A lot of people use I, Pioneer. It just kind of, yeah. yeah, it just kind of went. So then you just you just said, I'm just going to do this for myself, just to wear something. And kind of like, I, I got this little, I got these little uh, emojis that I use, the 100. I saw that. Muscle. I saw that. I, I didn't know you really took off with that thought. I'm like, that's what I'm talking. So then I, I said... I've been using those for like the last couple months while I've been working out. Mm. So I put it on a shirt. Mm. Three to my bone. I'm not selling them. Boom. I just want them. I just want to wear Boom. them. They motivate, they motivate me. me. Yep. The Boom. Same you know, thing. Yep. Like I'm not. I don't. I, I yep. know it takes money to have a clothing line because hmm. you gotta. You know. You gotta. You gotta pay for all the clothes and then pay for someone to buy it for you. It's from a, you. <laughs> it's the second part in my second book. I'm. I think I'm gonna call it the measly beast capital. Okay. Because capital, yeah. I underestimate everything when I first got involved. I didn't know how much capital I was going to need yeah, to to do everything. Of course. Yeah, but yeah. So like, okay, so that that right there leads us to this these new businesses that you started, the mm. service businesses. Mm. That's my mm. cup of tea. Mm. How's that going? The I see you painting houses. I see you cutting grass. I see you taking out bushes. I see houses transforming from like dirty, like like first the bushes are everywhere, and then the next picture, like there's everything's cleaned up. What's up with that? Like, how's that going? Is that bringing in some money? I love it. I love it. That's yeah. beautiful. That was a great. I like that. Thank you. You're Thank welcome, you. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Because I'm proud Thank of you. you. Because you know what? Thank you. Sometimes, you know, you have a you're a big dreamer, right? Yes, sir. So you wanted all this stuff, right? But sometimes you gotta just. 
you got to ground yourself and you got to say, okay, I need to make the money to have all that stuff. Mm. So now I think you're going to succeed even more than ever because now mm. once once you get all these service businesses coming, mm -hmm. man, people people need you, bro. Mm. You know why? Because there's people that are rich as hell and they don't want to cut their grass. They want to give you money to cut mm. their grass. That's they a don't fact. want to paint their house. They want to give you money to paint their house. That's a fact. Because their, their time is worth more. Mm. So... So how's that? How's that business going? So or I don't know. What, nah, how, how, how trust me, you're right on spot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> growing up, growing up, I always heard a saying: "The skills pay the bills." Mm -hmm. I never. I thought they meant either athletic sports. Mm -hmm. It's just a saying. Your talents. Yeah. I didn't know they meant skills and trades. I didn't know that. I didn't know they meant. The actual skills and trades pay the bills. If you know a trade or if you have a skill or a trade, if you know a, a skill or trade, then you'll always be able to put food on your table. Absolutely. You'll always be able to provide for yourself or your household. Mm -hmm. So uh, the skills pay the bills. So uh, it's, it's funny because I had kind of a lot of that planned in the beginning, yeah. but I just didn't know I was going to get to it this soon. Yeah. So now that, back to, like you said, that capital, and instead of going and getting investors or trying to get loans... I can go get out there with my skill and my trade and yeah. make my own capital and fund my own business. Yeah. So indeed, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And it's gonna and it's gonna go better because the thing is, then you don't have to worry about other people's opinion in your business. I mean, like, I I know I know how it is. Me and my mom, we have a cleaning business and we have a, we're really tight and stuff. But we have two different ideas. So I know like it's so much better to probably to have a, try to try to invest in it yourself. That's why. Like my cleaning business is mine and my mom's, right? But this mm -hmm. podcast, I'm, I haven't made a dollar on it. But mm. the first dollar I make, say someone mm. invests like something on advertising, yeah. that first money I'm gonna take it to a bank. I'm gonna film them, say, hey, I'm gonna start a, a fund for my podcast. I love it because that's what I want to do. And then this podcast is gonna be all mine, mm. Big Yogi's Garage, all mine. Mm. I love because it because I, I don't want to have partnerships no more. Yeah. Like it's, I already have a partnership in my business. I don't want it for the future. Yep. I think. Uh, you know what, Brian? It's ever since that I, fit, I found out that that uh, when I put myself first in life, mm -hmm. that I uh, I figured out a little bit like a key to to the to my life because mm. I always put everybody else before me. Mm. I would if anybody needed anything, I would be like, "Rush to do it," and I and I was overweight. I was like three hundred pounds. Mm. I was always eating McDonald's and I was always bullshitting and I was putting shit off. But then when I started saying. I'm going to put myself first, working out, waking up early, dedicating right. myself to myself. Everything's been working out good. Uh, yeah, that's that's actually good. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's a bad thing putting other people first. Yeah. I think it shows a lot about your character. It says a lot about you. Uh, but, I did that for a lot of years. But yeah, it, it, just a balance. I, I don't think it never did anything. Yeah, yeah, a little balance in there. Yeah. But I don't think it, I mean, sometimes it can tip over, it, but yeah. I think it's, you handled it pretty good. Yeah. It seems like I, I, I th the thing is, I do do that a lot because I, I have a cleaning business, so mm. I'm always cleaning for everybody else. Mm. And then, but then it was just like sometimes I was taking from myself yep. instead of instead of giving giving like you know what I mean myself a little bit. Yeah, like yeah. I, you worked out, you yep. know what it is. You've yep. been working out your whole life. You've always yeah. been fit and all that. Yep. I I never had the opportunity to be. fit. Fit, so mm. I, I always had struggles with that. Mm. I always had like eating disorders and stuff like that. Mm. I think I seen that. Uh, I think I seen in one of your uh, pack podcasts. You guys were talking about a little mental mental health issues. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. That kind of falls in that same area, man. It's just I don't know. Just like you said, working out, like uh, just working out that mind, body, and soul. The mind, body, and soul thing. Just stand, stand focused, stand, mm. stand. It, it's not easy for everybody. Yeah. It's really not. I find myself one day I'm in perfect, yeah. <laughs> perfect shape, zero yeah. percent body fat. Give me a month of writing a book or something, and yeah. it's just downhill for me. So, okay, yeah, it's, it, yeah. But that's because you stop working out, right? Yeah, but you it's lose just, focus. You direct energy some some focus over here. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. take some focus from over here, put it over yeah. here. But and then you slack on something. Yeah. But again, it's back to balance. So you keep balancing. Yeah. It, it helps. So okay. So um. We we went way off topic, but let let's go back to the the yep. the the service industry, right? Yes, please. That's because yeah. I don't know how we got to the mental health nah, dude, already. Please, please. But like, okay, the service thing. You uh -huh. paint houses, right? Is that what you? What are you doing? Paint houses, doing yards. Explain to everybody what you're doing with the mm. 
Because I don't know if everybody knows. Like That's so, so I'm a painter. I yeah. paint houses. I paint yeah. interior, exterior, uh, residential, commercial. Uh, I do a little uh, flooring. I can lay some vinyl floor, uh, some okay. carpet. And I got a lawn care business that's yeah. actually p- picking up, man. Yeah. I got some plans. I might be uh, moving to Texas this winter. Oh, for real? So yeah, I'm gonna take my portfolio yeah, and yeah. take that, take that. See how that can. You don't know yet for sure, but for no- yeah, it's in the works. We're, yeah, it's in yeah. the works right now. We're working yeah. some things out right now. So yeah, yeah we'll like, see. Everything, everything is, you know. Yeah. That's the way you got. You gotta fucking. You gotta have a dream, bro. Yep. You gotta know. And then if Toledo's not in in the end goal, then Toledo's not in the end goal. Yep. Toledo can still be there. Yep. You know what I mean? You yeah. can always come back and visit and talk, but you gotta you gotta figure out your life for your for you and your family. Yeah. You have kids and stuff. Yes, sir. I got three. I just had my first son, man. Oh, so you did? so yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Everything. Thank you. I seen him on Facebook. Boy, he's different to me. He's yeah. different. I so mean, you have two daughters before that. Yeah, they were different. All they they're different. They they yeah. are all just different. <laughs> but it's like when I had my first child. Yeah. That was my first child. That was different. Uh-huh. Now this is my first son, so it's like repeating it right back oh, over. Awesome. So it's just different. Yeah, that's it's awesome. Different. This is special. Now you get to teach him everything. Yeah, man. One day I'll be having my uh, last ride with him in high school. Yeah, you seen that? Hey, come that's on, true. man. You doing your thing, man? I love it. I love it, dude. I love, it. like I said, the passion behind it. Like we want to see that. Yeah, that was awesome, I man. See that. I, I, my videos are sometimes I cry. Like, he's like, he, he's like, he, he's like, it's nothing, but. Yeah. Not me. Yeah, <laughs> not me. Yeah, he not the father. No, they he's, don't he's like, know. A man, not yet. They, they don't know that not moment, yet. bro. Not they yet. They will. They, they will. will. They They'll will. see that one day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That was crazy. crazy. That was crazy. So, uh, so Florida. I don't know if you know. I mean, Texas. Excuse me. Yeah. I do a little caddying. I'm a golf caddy. Yeah, also. yeah. I remember that. I'm a golf caddy. I just remembered that right now. Yep. Back before I went to prison. Yep. I remember that. When, I, when we used to play football yep. and all that, yep. and then after that, you were my friend on Facebook. I remember you were a yep. caddy. Yep. Okay, so, so tell me about that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, caddying yeah. is kind of like, here, let's put this down yeah. so you guys can okay. see the big yogi where oh, we at. Okay. So, uh, caddying, I started caddying in 2003. Okay. I stopped in 2015, uh-huh. and then six years later, with the pandemic, they called a few of us veterans back. Okay. So, I was more, that was at the time when I was starting a business and everything. So I went back to caddying for the last couple of years. So it's led me to go to last year. I went to Florida to go caddy mm-hmm. and expand the business in Florida. Then I came back here this year. Okay. Now I'm going to go to Texas and basically do the same thing. I got some connections down there to do some caddying. So yeah, yeah. I'm going to take the paint and the yeah, yeah. skills and trade down there and, and the we'll thing, see. You meet some. You meet some real ass but, people when you can right? But, but, I mean... It's the rich ass people, right? It's not even a... It, see... But I'm saying you meet... Like, you... Not, it's not... It's, yeah. You meet... Like, you have the bond. You have the connection with somebody else. Like... I'm more so... I'm more so... I like to sharpen myself. Mm-hmm. I don't... The money is okay because money is going to come. Yeah, yeah, They yeah. say you follow your heart, money will come. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Stay where you at. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. But I like to be around sharp people. Yeah. I like to see how sharp people dress. I like to see what kind of cufflinks they wear. Yeah. I, w- I like to see what kind of shoes they wear. I like to see how they carry, how they sit. Yeah. Cause I want to get sharper. Yeah. How they talk. How they talk. I represent themselves. So they when they I'm do. out there caddying, I know I'm with wealthy people. So today, what can I learn from these guys yeah, today? Yeah, yeah. So that's you try to get a, a little nugget out of everybody. I'm like that too. I'm I'm, I'm basic. You can call it. I call you can call me a thief because I'm always stealing something from somebody, whether it's knowledge, to, anything. Because I mean, it's just you're a gift of to life. Yeah. Why would I let your you being a gift go and just be just a, a gift by itself? No, give me some of that gifting. Yeah, let me get yeah. some of that. And let me become a little. Let me become big, Brian. And, like, I, and I look at that too. You yeah. know, I, I look at that too. I, I know I see, I see everything I see of you ever posting on Facebook. I look at that. I see everything you've ever posted. Mm. I always see you. I see your clothing line. I like. I share. Whatever. Hey, Maybe man. not every single time, but I do sometimes. But you know what I mean. I see that. I'm like, damn, that'd be sweet. Ah, oh, man, when I have. Maybe when I have my shit, I have a clothing line, mm. Yogi's clothing. You know what I mean? Mm. Like you had, like you spark an idea for me. You spark an idea for a little kid. You spark an idea for someone else. 
Every single one of us mm. sparks an idea for someone else. Thanks. Every single one of us is looking for someone to guide us because all of us are a little bit, little bit lost. Even me, I look at everyone on my social media to see where I can get a little tiny nugget, a little piece. Maybe this guy, I don't, I don't like his whole story. Maybe fact. I don't like everything about him. Maybe he does this and that, and I don't like this and that, but I like this. I like that he's a great father. I love mm. that he's a great father. Mm. And I focused on the part that he's a great father. Mm. And I always watch all the things he does with his kids. And I'm like, man, mm. that guy's a great father. And that's I forget tough. the other shit that he does. Because the other shit he does, it has nothing to do with me. That's tough. That's, I like that a lot. Yeah. That's and I, just, I take that little nugget from that guy. Because mm. even, even your worst enemy can teach you what not to do. That's a fact. Yeah. I, said they, I heard a saying, they said when you uh, stop learning, that's when you stop, uh, what they say? When you stop being a student or something, you yeah. stop learning or something. Yeah, like that. no, when you when you stop learning, bro, like you give up on life. Yeah. Like if you say, No, I don't want to learn, I don't want to learn, that means that you're done with this life yeah. and you base a lot of them times when people say that, when they when they really say that they don't tell me nothing, I don't want to learn nothing, yeah. I don't want to read no books, they wanna like and they're done with this. They think that this life and this and this earth is over. Yeah. They want to move on to the next life because they think mm. like they think it like in reincarnation and they mm. think like uh like it's over with here. Mm. A lot of the people are like suicidal and stuff mm. like that. Yeah. For real. Like yeah. I I've, I've dealt with people like that. Mm. I that's dealt crazy. with people like that. That's 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 tr that's I, hard. They'll say they'll say, I don't care about this, I don't care about that. I just wanna move on, I just wanna move on. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? But I'm learning. I'm learning these days to try to come as empty as possible, even if I know something on a certain matter. Mm -hmm. Cause for me, I can never get the full juice out of something unless I act like. Even if I'm act playing ignorant, okay. I've, it's called. They, some people call it country dumb. Mm -hmm. You never know enough. So even if I think I'm an expert on something, let me just act like I don't know, know anything oh, and yeah. see what else I can learn. Yeah. So yeah, you can just juice like milk on a cow. You can yeah, juice yeah. it for more. Yeah, because and, that is and, true. So like. I understand what you mean because like me and you come in a conversation together and then every single time you say something, I, I butt in and I act like I know everything. Then you'll be like, man, I'll never get anything out of that conversation. Boom. I always, I'll always freaking like, I'll always be like, I think I know everything. And, I, and, I, and I, I'm working on that too because now that I started this podcast, hmm. like in the beginning, I had like a, young, a couple younger kids, you know, I had my nephew and I, and I felt like I was talking a lot and mm. not letting them talk. So I have to work on that. I'm trying to like learn how to come have a, a a real conversation and stuff. I'm loving like it. a like an interview type. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like I'm trying it. to learn how to do this. I I I I've never did this before, but I'm getting more comfortable with the camera, doing my TikToks and doing all that because mm. I I want to grow my podcast. I don't I, I don't know if you've seen my whole thing, but I want to have like a a building with podcasts. Yeah, so because I. Brian, I want eventually, like, you know, you're doing Pioneer, you're doing your clothing line. Like, eventually, I want you to have your podcast mm. at my building. Mm. Or even if you do it at your no, building. That'd be nice, dude. You know what I mean? You started at my, like, I want to, this is a dream. Uh, I don't know if it ever is going to happen. You have your, your podcast, you know, the Pioneer podcast. And then I come in, your first episode, what's up? This is Yogi. I'm, and you say, this is the Pioneer podcast. I got Yogi, and then you start that, and then you have your friends on your podcast. You you got a bunch of good ass friends. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like, yeah, like, I, got a lot, I know a lot of people, Jacob, man. Jacob, all them. Like, I know a lot, I know of, a people. lot of people know that lot of know people. you. Everybody knows know you. A lot of people. So then you have all them people at your like. Look at this. Look, at, like look at this picture right there. Right, that mm. desk. You imagine you right on that on that podcast mm. right there on that desk with another guy there with That's your nice. pioneer stuff in the background. Boom, all that That's stuff. Nice. And then you doing nice. interviews with people, and mm. then people are buying ads on your podcast, mm. and then eventually, if, eventually, like that's that's like the future. So I think that's something that I want. My dream is to have that building so people can come and do their social media at my building. I like that. I like that. As long as you let me, uh, bring. Yeah. I got a couple guys that I wanted to do that with, like yeah. my gamers. Let them get a yeah, little yeah. section with my gamers. Get yeah, their own that's, little that's, area. That's, but that's yeah. that's kind of like the. Uh, the goal, okay, It'll look, neat. Celia, Celia uh, Ramirez. From the Homeboys. From the Homeboys. Yeah, I worked with her yep. before. Partnered they're starting, up with her. They're start, they're, they got this um, Homeboys Havens, and mm. they're done. They're starting a nonprofit mm. uh, that's going to be doing a, um, they don't, they, they got a dream of having a building with social media, with, with, with podcast centers and stuff like that. Mm. So like that for the kids, 
like a non-profit for the kids. Mm. But what well, my thing is, those kids are going to grow up. Well, my thing is, I want to have that same kind of system like she's going to do. She's going to run her non-profit. Mm. I want to do a for-profit building. She got a lot of big ideas, dude. I was yeah, pro- she Boy, she got very, a lot of big ideas. Yeah, she and is. she's doing a lot for them kids also. Yeah, what did you work on them? What did you help them with? She, she actually, uh, actually, a friend of mine, Antonio Thompson, had knew her. And mm-hmm. they he connected me to her. And she asked me to come out to a camp resort. Mm-hmm. At, I think Mia Conda. Yeah, Mia Conda. And... Uh, she just had a bunch of kids out there. She just wanted me to uh, speak, and yeah. I went out there to speak. And it was just kind of like what you're saying, like you, you're learning how to do this. You're learning yeah, yeah. how to. So, uh, and if I, if you, if I may, yeah, you go do, you do, do, do what you gotta do. Thank you. This I, is you, fam. Nah, dude, it's us. Thank you. Yeah. So I go to Clay to speak. Yeah. I, <clears throat> I went to Clay in March to uh, teach. I speak, teach, whatever yeah, pr- yeah. presentation. Yeah, yeah. I did a presentation at Clay High School to a, a group of seniors. Uh, uh, the class was called Strategic Entrepreneurship. Oh, I think you shared it on Facebook. It was, it was nuts. It was, excuse me, it, was, it was crazy. It was crazy. But the kids loved me. All the juniors who, who was, the juniors kept asking about me. Now they're seniors this year. They keep asking about me. So I go in, I got to go in there uh, October 14th uh-huh. to speak again. And I'm going to bring the student who actually got me to come in, who spoke to the teacher and everything. So it's, it's just, just connecting with a lot of people. But uh, so getting back to the uh, topic, these speaking, like, uh-huh. <clears throat> so I'm, I, the first time I just felt like it was a lecture. I feel like, I felt like I was born. The teacher said everybody loved me. She said, that's the quietest I ever heard. Everybody, they were so like focused and just locked in on you and everything. And I did a lot of couple things to really kind of like excited and everything, mm-hmm. but I just felt more lecture. I, how could I have spicing it up? How can I? So I looked up, I started researching uh, some speaking, uh, I guess, one-on-one trainings, uh, yeah. how to speak, how to do speakings and everything and i learned a lot so uh like, i'm pretty sure over time it'll come yeah it'll okay come. so what did you do like look up youtube videos on how, how, how to, or, yep. did you watch people speak or did yep. you like and then i watched them speak i watched them kind of sorry i watched them kind of break it down tutorial on how to do it tutorial stuff. i yeah. tell you two things right now that i didn't do they said they told me to be short and concise mm-hmm. and they just said have three points mm-hmm. i had about mm-hmm. a million points so yeah it just it was just yeah you just you instead of and I didn't get the crowd in, engaged. Oh, okay. I was kind of talk talk. I did, but I didn't. Nah, let them engage. Let them let let them take the. So it was just so okay. I'm just telling you my experience. Yeah, but that's I mean so, that's yeah. a good experience because yeah. I I do that too. Yeah. Like, I'll start talking. And I won't shut the hell up. That's crazy. But I, but, but but I am learning now. I'm learning not to. Yeah. But I like sometimes you have to like if if you feel like the person. Uh, that you're with is, 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 is that, like the the one my Aiden my nephew Aiden mm-hmm. he's twelve mm. I had to do all the talking he, because he he wanted to talk about uh, he, <laughs> I was like talk, tell me about football and he's like tell me like a little tiny piece you know what I mean so then I had to keep telling him you know other stuff so mm. I just with the person I have to learn to to talk to whoever mm. I'm talking to you know yeah that's nice yeah. I like that yeah I like that a lot uh, yeah. man that's that's that's, that's what I'm I mean. I have to, I have to figure it out, bro. I have yeah. to figure it out. I, I, I can't just. Okay, so when you're speaking to kids, do you, how did does, does it feel like? Do you know how some people make believe that you're you're in a different place or make believe? How do you do? How do you do it? Does it make you nervous? So I'm, I'm I got nephews and nieces, mm-hmm. so I'm already I got children, so I'm already I'm already I love the youth. Mm-hmm. The youth to me is our future. Mm-hmm. So it's like there's no point at even thinking about the future if we're not gonna think about the children or the youth okay. so uh when i go in there i'm already used to them but i'm already nervous because i never met these kids before yeah. but the the easiest part is to to relate find a find one point of reference to relate okay. whether that's uh speaking about tiktok mm-hmm. speaking about uh some famous artist they might uh oh, correlate okay. yeah, to yeah, yeah. breaking them into all right yeah. now like that, they'll, they'll, they'll think oh he knows a little bit about what we know exactly yeah. and now we gotta you got somewhere to get in, yeah. talk to them, yep. stuff like that. Oh, yep. my God, that's cool. Yep. I didn't know. And laughing. Good. Laughing. <laughs> a joke. You got to become a comedian sometimes. Okay. It's I don't know the full study and research, yeah. but it's something about endorphins. Yeah. When you open, when you get people to laugh and open up their endorphins, yeah, 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 you're right. they retain more of what you're... Oh, for real? Yeah, this is real... Yeah. Oh, yeah. So maybe so, that's why comedians... Was, that's why. Yeah. That's why when you go watch a comedy show, you're laughing and you're and you're listening to everything because it's like your endorphins are like shooting. Shoot, no, serious, yeah. no, that's it. Yeah. Really, I, know, yeah. I never knew that. Really, I see, I see preachers now that's learning how to be, oh, yeah, throw preachers. some 
comedy in there. To, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because oh, I'd be sleep. Mm, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So there, because I, I want to do that eventually. Like, um, you know, not. It's not like something that I'm going to try to go. But eventually go speak to some kids about my prison time. Mm. And about, you know, I learned a lot when I was in prison. So I feel like I can teach a lot of little kids. Like, especially like in the east side. I came from Way High School. Mm. I went to Way High School. I dropped out. I, I freaking started selling drugs. I, 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 I worked. I always had a job. You know what I mean? Mm. But I always did the wrong thing, too. I had my job, and then I did the wrong thing because I always... The thing is, the job never gave me enough, so I needed a little bit more. So mm. then I started selling drugs, so, and then I mm. ended up getting caught going to prison. But I changed my life around, mm. so then that's why I want to talk to kids. Maybe mm. they don't have to go that route. Maybe they can have a business like you, you know what I mean? So we got it. We gonna, <laughs> so I got to get you, please. Yeah. So next year, if see, like I said, so... Next year we're gonna we're gonna host a lot of conferences. Yeah. We're gonna host a lot of business conferences, a lot of entrepreneurial conferences, yeah. uh, a lot of conferences to teach people how to paint and how to pick up a trade and yeah. all this. But uh, and I want to help, man. I, that's what I said. I want to get you on that yeah. stage because next year I want I'm gonna yeah. be hosting a lot because of because con- I'm gonna keep doing this podcast. So I'm gonna keep getting better and better speaking, uh-huh. and I got a story, man. But it's 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 and I said that because it's for that because like I said, it's for all people, but. Trying to give the youth a different route. I want to help kids, man. Like you said, that w- it was never enough. The, even if I had a job, I had this, but it was never enough. Listen, you go make five thousand dollars in three days, ten thousand dollars in three days. If that's not enough, then <laughs> check your appetite. But I'm just saying. So yeah. we want to t- write a book, be an entrepreneur, start a business. Yeah. You know, so you can have business. enough. We started a cleaning business, and uh, and our cleaning business. Um, but when I got out, my mom had a few houses, and I told my mom, let's go full blast and start a real cleaning business. Now, me and my mom, we have uh, two employees. We have, I mean, we're not rich. We're still check to check. Yeah. We're still, you know what I mean? It's week to week. It's the process. We're still week to week, but we're, but we're living good week to week. We're not struggling week to week. Mm-hmm. We're paying our employees and we're doing good. And that's really the dream. It doesn't have to be, we don't have to be millionaires mm-hmm. we want to be mm-hmm. but it doesn't have to be right now yep. the, the the goal is to just live good live good live like not struggle and that's why i can do this podcast i can sit down with you and be relaxed and calm down and have this podcast and i want to promote every freaking thing you have to offer you. because i know that Man, you're striving to feed your family. And I know that by me promoting you, I'm going to help all your businesses like grow. And I I know that because I know that, that, like, I know that this is the future video. Look, Instagram changed. Instagram used to be nothing but photos, right? Mm -hmm. It took billions and billions of dollars for them to switch over to video. Mm. They're not going to waste all that money. Video is the future. This video, this podcast is the future. Your podcast, when it comes out, whenever you do that, <laughs> that's going to be Look, the future. My God. Because your my podcast God. is going to, this is what it's going to do. You're going to promote your book. You're going to promote your businesses. You're going to promote your your clothing line. And you're going to promote all your friends' stuff. Yeah. And you're going to promote my stuff because I'm going to come on and visit you. Exactly. And your I can't podcast, wait. And then I your friends wait. are going to come on and visit me. And my friends are going to be, and then we're just going to have a, like a podcast family. And I'm not saying you got to have it at my building or nothing. No. Even if you have it at your office, at your building, I'm still going to come and all that. Because I don't want it to be nothing with me. I want it to be where we're all growing. Because the thing is, bigger cities have this. Atlanta has a podcast center and all this. But Toledo doesn't. Toledo doesn't. Toledo doesn't have a Mm. bunch of guys doing podcasts. Mm. But we can. Mm -hmm. Why not? It just takes, look at a camera, some microphones. A sign, and we can do it. That could easily, we can put your sign there, and we could do, we could take this off, boom, switch the chairs, put Pioneer, and then we can switch our outfits and put, do a Pioneer, yeah, the Pioneer yeah, podcast yeah. next. Pioneer podcast, like, <laughs> oh, come on, man, we just came up with the name. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to lock this name up, bro, before. You're going to have to lock that name up before For this sure. comes out, man. For sure, man. I love it, dude. That's amazing, man. I love it, dude. Your enthusiasm, man. We doing a lot, and you're doing a lot, man. It's, because um, That's amazing. Brian, man, that is I, amazing. I see everything you're doing, man, you know, you know, but I, I know that you're doing a lot of different things. We actually, I don't mean to, can I, no, can no, I throw no, this go. in there? Yeah, bro. 
Uh, I'm working with the uh, superintendent. That's uh, right. Yeah, you're doing a lot of good things, man. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm trying to get the uh, trying to get this book into yeah. all TPS uh, right high here. schools right now, and yeah, I think we got a pretty good chance. I think this upcoming year, we should we should be it should be in. I'm, let's let's just keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. But we're trying to get this one and the next one into uh, all high schools, Toledo Public High Schools, and I actually I'm working on a. A curriculum so it's gonna mm -hmm. be a course so basically like you got the book and then you got the actual course so basically it can be a class I want to make okay. it set up to where it's a class so basically like and what is the class about can you explain a little bit about the class the class is more do you, so do you, do you yeah. have it set up already yeah, or yeah. it's okay. crazy it's fine let me know about the it's uh, Pioneer Academy mm -hmm. Pioneer Academy 101 and it's more so teaching business mm -hmm. entrepreneurship and marketing business marketing and entrepreneurship okay. And it's more so going into uh, financial literacy, okay. business economics, and strategic business development. Okay. My children are actually homeschooled. And my first daughter, she just passed and got promoted to the first grade through TPS. She had to take her assessment test. But she wrote a book at six years old. She Thank wrote you. a book. So mm -hmm. I'm going to try to get that published here soon. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, generating some more capital for every... My wife published a book. Uh, yeah. And we got to get the books and audio. So it's just a lot yeah, of yeah. building, a lot of building. But yeah. so the the Pioneer Academy, business, marketing, entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. uh, financial literacy, business economics, and strategic business development. And again, we're trying to, I'm trying to, I want to take this mind mm -hmm. and put it out there so yeah. people like us can, the next book is called, can I tell you? Can yeah, I, yeah. Can yeah, I, yeah, please? Whatever, yeah. So the next book is called, the mind of a pioneer. The mind of a pioneer. Yeah. All right. So, just long story short, it's the blueprint. The blueprint. It's the blueprint. Okay. So I'm trying to give people the blueprint. The blueprint. Okay. So when they embark on this journey, okay. they have the blueprint. Okay. And it's gonna show you exactly because at times you're gonna want to quit. Yeah. It's gonna get hard. No, man. I thought. I, I, dog, I know. It's gonna get hard. So. Know, bro. So for the most part. A pioneer, you gotta, yeah. you gotta endure, you gotta persevere. Yeah. You can't quit. Yeah. There's people counting. I'm not, on you. I'm not gonna let you quit. Anyways, I'm not gonna quit, and I'm not gonna let you quit yes, because sir. we're gonna work together on this. And like I said, I think, I think you, you marketing, right? What's yes, marketing? Sir. Is it this is what I'm doing? Is you this doing is marketing? It. Come right? on, man. Is this what I'm doing? Come on, man. I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah, come on. But this is what I'm doing because I, I want to put people on my podcast. I want to market them. I want them to market me. I want, I want, I want other people. I want marketing. Isn't that what marketing Can is? Can I say something real quick? Yeah. You said you don't know what this is. Yeah. It's a part in the second book. Yeah. And it, I didn't know all this. I only knew what I thought I knew. When I first started, yeah. I only knew what I thought I knew. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, we don't know what we don't know. Yeah. So when you get started, you only know what you think you know. Yeah. But then there's an element called the unknown. We never factor that in. So when the unknown happens, you get a psh, 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 psh. oh, now you got to figure it out then. Then you got to adapt and adjust. Yeah. So if you factor that in, you just throw that in there and you just yeah. know anything can happen. It's never going to go yeah, exactly yeah. how you plan it. So there's an, a part uh, in the second book called Building in the Dark. Yeah. So ah, the second book is crazy, but yeah. Building in the Dark means out you're building. You don't even know what it is. Yeah, yeah. You're just building in the dark. Yeah, you can't, yeah. you're just doing... You're, and, you're building, but you don't but know you're, you're going to get a certain distance where you're going to turn around and the light's going to come on. Like, what the fuck? This is why I was. <laughs> so this is what I was doing. Keep the yeah. yeah I can't yeah. wait to see what it becomes. Yeah. yeah. So be you're definitely marketing. You're definitely doing yeah. marketing. You're definitely doing a lot business. You're definitely yeah. doing a lot entrepreneurship. Yeah. Uh, you're doing a lot. You're doing yeah, a lot. Yeah, because that, that, that's what I want to do. Because. Okay, I have my cleaning business. That's bringing in all the money. But mm. I want to do. Uh, I want to do this. I want to. I want to. I want to learn. Mm. I love to learn. That's oh. funny you say that because <laughs> I don't. I don't like talking. I don't like wasting words on anyone that's not a student. I like saying where are my real students at. Mm. Where are my real students in in a crowd full of a hundred, a crowd full of two hundred, mm. crowd full of ten or five. Where are my real students? Who's who? Who's really who has a pen and a? Because mm. that's how I started everything. You got the pen right there. <laughs> you got to take a pen and a paper everywhere you go, and you got to be, you got to be a student. You got to yeah. want to learn. You got to be one of, yeah, ready to learn. That's I love to learn, yeah. man. Because the thing is, if you keep learning, like what the hell? There's nothing can stop you. Like when you stop, like I can't. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't even know. Like 
my dad, man, my dad's like, don't, I don't want to know nothing. I don't want to learn nothing. He just stops. He's just, mm. he's done, man. Mm. He stopped learning. And it, it drives me crazy, man. And I didn't even want to tell you that because it, it hurts me. But that, that hurts when he tells me that. Because I'm like, dad, no, but dad, I'll tell him like, hey, this doctor said this. And he'll be like, I don't even want to hear it. I don't even want to hear it. Yeah. I'm like, man, it's for your health, dad. And he's yeah. like, no, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I'm like, man, it's just sad, man. But yeah, yeah I, I'm never going to stop learning. AB, I'm never going to stop learning. To the day that, I, that I'm that i going to, even the last guy, the doctor that's, you know, trying to do something, I'm like, hey, man, what's up? <laughs> I'm still going to ask him some shit. Yeah. Because I, I, I don't want to stop, man. Because I feel be. like. If you're not dead, God wants you to keep learning. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Right? It, it's in there, chapter five. It's actually in there, chapter five. When it, when, it, when I finally, when the epiphany kind of hit me, mm. I, I realized that our minds are like a computer, and that there is an endless amount slash capacity of learning available, memory space. It is mm. unlimited. And when I realized that, it was more so. When I look back and the, the things I retained, basically my mind retained what it wanted to retain. Mm -hmm. And then once we started getting, I guess it's this new social media era mm -hmm. because we're picking up things faster with the internet. Yeah. But once I learned that we have the, compa the capacity to learn whatever we want to learn, mm -hmm. that, that was all you needed to tell me. Once I figured out that I can learn whatever I wanted to learn. That's what I basically set out to do. I'm gonna just start learning what I yeah. want to learn. That's awesome. I didn't. You know what? I did that too. Like, um, I knew I was going to prison for three years, right? I just said this in my other podcast, but I don't care. I'm gonna repeat it because you weren't there. Please. Um, when I I knew I was going to prison for three years, I said, "What can I do in those three years to make myself a better human being when I get out?" Huh. So I got on like uh, I figured out I, I you know I figured out what books I can get in prison. So I went and found out. The 100 best mm. self-help books mm. to, that every man should read. Mm. Like if you Google it, they'll tell you. Like mm. there's always like, um, you know, give, uh, how to, uh, I don't know, Napoleon. Rich dad, poor dad. Yeah, rich dad, poor yeah. dad. Seven yep. habits, highly effective. Yeah. You know, the same. So I, yep. I ordered all those and I had my mom and my sisters, my two sisters and my mom send them to me to prison. Little by little, I would get books and I would read mm. them. I read books about Oprah Winfrey. Mm. I would read books about Walter Payton. I would read a book about just That's like big. just like any like famous That's person, big. The Rock, uh, uh, Kevin Hart, like how they became who they became. Mm. And then I would read self help books yeah. and stuff like that because I I said when I get out of prison, I'm gonna become a better person. Mm. You know what? I just opened up a box the other day. And I was reading through a book, and this Oprah Winfrey book, and it said, um, "What you want to be when you get up, when you grow, or no, like wh what you're gonna—I don't know what the quote was, but it was something about being what you're gonna be, like what you want to be in life or whatever." And I, at the bottom, I wrote, "Ever since I went to prison, I don't know what I want to be, but I've always thought that I need to work with kids. I think I want to work with kids. Every time I ask God what I want to, what I want, what should I be, I always get." that I need to work with kids. Mm. And I oh, and I wrote that, and I just seen it the other day. And I was nice. thinking, I was telling my girl, yeah. and my girl says that I, she thinks that like, like this podcast is what it is because I have kids on this podcast. Mm. Today I had an 18-year-old boxer mm. earlier, you know what I mean? Mm. And then I had uh, um, my 11-year-old uh, nephew, and then I, kids are watching my YouTube channel. Mm. Kids are watching my TikToks. Uh, not like little kids, but like, you know, 15, 14, 15, and then, well, and they're learning some stuff. So I think that I am working with kids now. No, that's, <clears throat> I don't know. Like, I nah, uh, I'm more of a spiritual person. I guess mm -hmm. you can call me a spiritual yeah. person. You believe in God and stuff? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah. Definitely. You uh, I, I mean, I thought you can you call me a Christian. Yeah. Uh, I'm more so, uh, I'm a believer. Okay. I believe in the Lord. Jesus, yeah. you can go Greek, you can go Hebrew, name yeah, yeah, I mean, Yahweh, just, Yeshua. Some people call him God, yeah. or, you know, Allah. It's He's got it, boom. Yep. He's got. Yeah. Uh, what I uh, boy, Jehovah, we jumped, or whatever. Yeah, we jumped on the God. No, no, I said what? I said, are you religious? I said, are, do you believe? I said, do you believe in God? I don't know. But right I'm, before that, what oh, we right before that, we were talking about um, uh, God, right? I don't know. Let's yeah. just go move on. Let's uh, let's talk about um. I don't know. Hey, God, that one you got me with the brain fire. But yeah, uh, what what's up with kids? Okay, so you that you work you work with kids at, at schools. Do you work with kids anywhere else, or they're just do, 
at the school so, and stuff. So I, I work with the kid. Uh, I did. Psh. I work with all people. Mm-hmm. I work with all people. Uh, I have a heart for the youth. I have a, a big heart for the youth. Uh, but I'm because only because I should have been a lot further than where I am now mm-hmm. had I had somebody like myself to give me the mind of and a layout of blueprint, so to speak, or give me a better direction. Mm-hmm. So I was only strictly football, football, football. So I got a bigger heart for the youth Mm -hmm. so they can be a lot farther than they should once they're around the time 30s, in their 30s, or once they finish college or finish high school. But just give them a running start so when they hit the ground, they're running. They don't have to figure, look, and be lost for a few years like myself. Because that's really hard. A lot of, like, that's, I mean, I always blame that, like, that, that nobody taught me how to, you know what I mean, how to do things and stuff like that. Yep. Sure, so but it's definitely for all people also. Well, I mean, yeah, it's it's for people like us. It's for people like us who's just now getting started and still want to get started. Yeah. People that has a business that might not know some things that we might know. So we just give them back. Give them back. All right. So look, um, what we mean we can end this right now. We already I've been thought. doing like like half an hour. Yep. Is there? Um, I, I want you to say your social media. Yep. Do you have a website or where? Uh, and then I'm gonna have it. Whatever you say, uh, you know, I'm going to have it po- post posted down. Do you, or you, people can just follow you on Facebook or do uh, you have like a website or something like that? For the most, so I'm, I'm, re, I'm redesigning the website. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, had, I did a lot of uh, assessment and anal- analysis mm-hmm. and I saw what was working and what wasn't working. Yeah. So now it's time to redesign it and get it the way, tailor it up a little, okay. put it the way I want it. But the website is pioneerapparel.com. Mm-hmm. The book is available at authorshouse.com okay. or Barnes & Noble, okay. uh, Pioneer Clothing, like I said, the website. And Instagram, you can follow me at CEO Burrell, mm-hmm. undersc- underscore Burrell. But okay. for the most part, that's it. And make sure y'all uh, like, hit that uh, like button, yeah. subscribe, and hit that notification to Big yeah. Yogi's Garage. Big Yogi's Garage. Yes, sir. And I'm soon, pretty soon, we're going to get Pioneer Podcast. I love it. I think I, I think, love it. I think that's a, like, for real, for I real. I love it, man. Like, I think, I think, for real, for real, there's not going to know, no thing that's going to be something. Because, I, I, look, you have all these businesses, right? You can always cut a couple of them away and focus on a podcast and having, and then imagine if you get a, a, the podcast going and you can get a, a bunch of, like, advertisements. A bunch of like um, endorsements, okay. sponsors, endorsements. Yeah. People, listen, <clears throat> listen. Right now, look, January first. This I already said this to other people, but I've never said this to you. January first, gambling is going to be available in Toledo. Mm. Uh, pretty soon, uh, all these weed companies are going to come to mm. Toledo. Pretty soon, all this stuff. They're going to need people like us to advertise because they're not going to, people mm. aren't going to advertise all this shit on TV for them. And people mm. aren't watching TV no more, mm. right? So people are going to be watching YouTube, TikTok. Mm. Uh, th- so imagine if you can go to the casino or me, or me or you or whatever, one of us can be like, hey, you know, we can all advertise on our podcast, your gambling site or whatever. We can all advertise these little freaking mom and pop weed shops and stuff. Like we don't have to smoke weed. We don't even like have that. to like it. Don't we don't even have to advertise it. But like you can like have like their like little um like their little logo like right here like mm. the little weed shop logo right here. You don't gotta say nothing. You just put it. You know. Oh shit. No, that's fine. <laughs> My bad. No, that's fine, dude. Trust me. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that's all you do. You just put like a little logo or something, and they'll pay you. And then you can always like okay. Say it's a service business. This is what I've been doing. Mm-hmm. The service businesses have been coming on. So like I'll I can give away like a gift card to your business. So I'll say, I'll say, hey, uh, next month I'm gonna give a give um give a give a gift gift card to your to your lawn service. Tw- four twenty-five dollar gift cards to every everyone that comments on this video, I'm gonna give away a four four twenty-five dollar gift card. So they can they can get your lawn service. You come. They say you charge them fifty bucks. Mm. They'll say here's a twenty five dollar gift card. Our our podcast mm. will pay the twenty five dollars. You charge them the other twenty five, mm. and then they'll bring you four different clients for, for you know what I mean. They'll get mm. the gift card, but then they'll bring you some clients, and hopefully they'll say, hey, come every two weeks. Mm. That's big. I like your way of thinking, and and that's marketing. Yeah, that's yeah. I like it. That's how. That's how. Like that's, how that's I think that that's how. Eventually, that's how we're going to grow our businesses because service businesses, we're not McDonald's. 
there's no one putting commercials out there for us. Mm -hmm. If we don't advertise on Facebook, the free advertisement on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and all that, no one's gonna do it for us. Yeah, no one's gonna know about us. It's definitely it's a different uh, it's a different day and age for us, which mm -hmm. helps because we have so many free social media platforms mm -hmm. to outsource. So yeah. yeah, definitely taking advantage of those platforms and. Yeah. Exactly, doing what you yeah, said. Sorry, I like it. Sorry for pushing the podcast on you, but I know you. Nah, got a lot dude, of nah. Do. So that's what I'm about to say. Uh, that's what, thank you for saying that. <laughs> but I think yeah. it's so. We got so many. I'm, I got so many ideas. I got so many, yeah, so many things I'm working on. But like you said, like you said, I think you can uh, take uh, cut away from and it, it, that goes back to balance because, like I said, I, it's so we're everywhere, yeah. but we know what we're doing. It's strategic mm -hmm. business development. So. Sometimes you have to take a little focus from over here yeah, yeah. to put I, some more. You know, I just learned here. that earlier when you said that earlier, mm -hmm. like in this podcast, you said sometimes you got to take this. And I was like, oh, no balance. That's it. In just my head, I balance. was like, damn, I, I learned something. You yeah. was like, take a little bit from here and put it over there. This times I got to take 99% off of all, business dude. and put it just on my family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe for a few hours, maybe for a few days, maybe yeah, for a few yeah. weeks. Yeah, yeah. Business always has for to go, sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I got to keep business running, yeah. but that's not where my focus is. Absolutely. That's awesome. Brian, thank you so much for coming, man. Let's just, let's just end it right there. My thank God. you so much. Family is everything, right? Hey, but, man, I got, yeah. dude, my, my, my life is complete now. Yeah. Now that I got my yeah, boy, I got boy. two girls, and from here it's just let me sweat it out. Let me work. Yeah. Let me build my business for them. Let me build a yeah. company. Let me build their life so they can help do whatever they want to do in life. Thank so you for coming, man. Thank you, man. Was, uh, thank you. I know you. we had a, we, a hard time getting together, but thank you so thank much. Thank you, brother. I appreciate, I appreciate it, it, man. So much, man. Thank you. Guys, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next week. You know what? I got All right, guys, we're done for tonight. We're not gonna see each other till, till, till the first, first, look. first look tomorrow, right? Yep. So when is that? Zip, zouch, nothing. No more? So who's gonna bring me my snacks? Somebody, you're gonna have a My sister. All right, so someone else is gonna bring me, so this is our last look ever. So I'll see you next time I look at you. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm gonna miss you so much. That's it, it's That's over. It. That was a lot. It's the end of the night. I'm your husband now, and you're my wife. And it was a long 13 months of planning. How did it go? Oh, crazy. How was the wedding? It was fun. I had fun. I had, it was the best thing ever. Did you have fun, babe? Yeah. yeah how was the turnout? Really good. Everybody yeah. came. Everybody had a um, great time. Except I didn't get any cupcakes. I didn't even know dessert either. We're going to have to get some dessert tomorrow. Somewhere. No, we got we got a one year anniversary the fetches cake coming to us. Oh, we okay. ate good Cuban food. We drank good drinks. Mark, mm. somebody brought us a bottle of Patron. Mm. My niece, my, oh, my so little nice cousin. Sir. Oh, my little cousin bought us a bottle of Patron. She told me that. That was cool. The one um, came from Florida. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. Good. Thank you. Wow, we love you. And. I don't know, my dress broke a couple times, it sucked. But I'm gonna take back. My flowers were chopped. Oh wait, where are my flowers? Oh, after I asked for long stem. That was annoying. But I was in Boston. But it's okay. Everything looks so good, but I didn't get any pictures, and I hope that my photographer kind of stops. I couldn't make any TikToks either while we were in the room. We're so busy. Is it? And we got three kids in our room. So. Not a regular, no, but we go. We go on. Tonight. We go on our honeymoon in a couple of weeks, in, a, in like nine a week. Days, so it's okay. So cool. everything's everything's popping. Everything's, everything's popping. Popping. Now we get to go home, go to bed, take the, care of kids. Normal. The gasitas, husband and wife. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. <laughs> hey, do we feel any different today? Yeah, I feel like a husband. Do you feel like a husband? Yeah, I feel like a husband today. See, I got a rig. Finally, I got a rig. I, I feel like a wife. <laughs>